I have been asked to welcome Jonathan on behalf of the staff. But how can I, one person, be the voice of hundreds in a few short minutes at that? The staff of Hampshire College are not a homogenous group. We are a group of individuals with diverse roles, backgrounds, experiences, viewpoints, etc. But there's also a lot that defines us as the staff of Hampshire College and not another institution. There are shared ideas and perspectives that unite and unify us at critical moments. One such unifying force is the power of our own influence on our community. Often this influence goes largely uncelebrated or we forget to stop and acknowledge the positive aspects of our beautifully complex community. I suspect that most families could benefit from more active celebration of both concrete achievements and the often less tangible positive impacts. The Hampshire family is no different in this regard, but please do not misunderstand me. Another of our strengths among the staff and otherwise is the ability to see the intangibles. If you ask, you will hear some amazing stories. An example. You know that major online social network, the one that recently spent an inordinate amount of money to buy a little company with no business model besides letting users take pictures, put funny effects on them, and send them to their friends? Okay, that one. Well, I posted on that network last week asking those Hampshire community members in my network if they could share a story with me about a staff member that was meaningful to them. Now, I received stories from faculty and students often citing not just one staff member, but multiple staff members and even whole groups of staff members and you know, departments, although we don't really have departments. It's true. <clears throat> Uh, some of the specific stories that were quite touching. Now I want to share with you one student's story, and it's about a staff member in financial aid. But uh, I, I certainly don't mean to suggest that any one uh, group of staff or otherwise deserves more attention than another. It's just that this particular story struck me because of how passionately the students spoke about the loan counseling he and his wife were given by this staff member and how deeply it has impacted their lives to this day. It simply is not a story that I hear often enough. This student spoke about how thorough and careful the advice they received was, such that, quote, we have been extremely well equipped to handle our student loans ever since. Without the staff member's help, the process might have been extremely confusing, and we probably would be struggling with payments now that we could barely afford, end quote. Now I share this one specific story with you, not to suggest that it rises above all of the others, hardly, but instead to suggest to you that it exemplifies the sort of pivotal, life-changing interactions that all staff have on a regular basis with students, with faculty, with other staff members, with parents, with alums, etc. The potential for and actual experiences of both formal and informal knowledge sharing and mentoring across campus are many, varied, and expanding. And staff have always played a key role in such experiences here at Hampshire College and continue to do so. Hampshire College is a place that celebrates inclusiveness and the full engagement of all constituencies. This clearly includes the staff body. More to the point, however, it includes a fundamental need for strong, flexible, well-informed, connected, and communicative leadership in order to maintain, encourage, and enhance that engagement process. Leadership is a broad concept, of course, and at Hampshire College, it manifests in many different ways across campus. Among the staff, we have many unsung leaders some of whom certainly do not consider themselves as such, but whose efforts as role models, mentors, motivators, and guides, as well as educators, clearly identify them as leaders, at least in my humble opinion. And I would argue that we all have this potential. And on behalf of all of us, all of the staff, I find it immensely heartening that we have in President Lash someone who recognizes the diverse potential within our community, who has demonstrated a commitment to deep exploration of the exact nature of that potential and where it can lead us, who in the short time he's been here speaks as passionately about Hampshire College as some of our veteran ambassadors. President Lash inspires us not only through his words, but leads by example 
setting a standard of respect and community engagement through open, transparent, and frequent communication on even the most seemingly mundane of matters. And as we discovered during the October snowpocalypse, he's pretty handy with a pair of work gloves, too. <laughs> so it is my great pleasure, my honor, to welcome President Jonathan Lash and his family on behalf of the staff of Hampshire College. We look forward to a great future. Thank you.